Hello everybody, my name is Ulrich and welcome to another episode of Docker Donnerstag. To get the formalities out of the way real quick, if you want to submit your own idea for our upcoming Docker Donnerstag, reach out to us on Twitter or if you want to discuss the topic, go to our Slack channel. For this week's episode, we will have a look at NetBeans in combination with Docker for Windows. If you haven't watched our last episode of Docker Donnerstag, there we introduce Docker for Windows. Uh, I will link the, it in the description and in this video. So let's get started. We start by downloading the current version of NetBeans. So we go to the netbeans.org website and download the current nightly build because the 8.1 version of NetBeans doesn't support Docker natively. So we have to go to the development tree and download the version that we need. I will download the old version. And after we downloaded and installed, on NetBeans, we will continue with the video. After we downloaded and installed NetBeans, we can now start it. And as you can see, we are running a fairly recent nightly build of our on NetBeans. So our first step is to go to the service uh, tab. There you see the Docker icon, but you cannot do anything with it. So our first step is to uh, add a Docker host and we use our local Docker host. This is the Windows host in our case. We don't need to specify a certificate pass and we will test the connection. And as you can see, we can connect to our Docker host. This host could also be another host. For example, if you were running a Docker environment with a test dev, environment so you could actually connect to your dev environment and execute all your containers over there. So we will hit finish and after we finished our connection you can see that we have access to our local docker host and you can see the images of our docker host that are currently available and the containers that have been run on the docker host. Our next step is to launch a container um, so what we'll do is we will select our Nginx image and say run. We will give it a name. In this case, let's say we want to have um, web test and we connect a pseudo terminal to it. In this uh, dialog, you can actually choose the port bindings. You can either I'll say you want a random port binding or we say add exposed and we will see all the ports that are exposed by the Docker file and we can modify the host ports. So what we'll do is we will change the HTTP port to 8080 and we can have a look at the HTTPS port as well and for example add a 4 here. So now we have two different host ports and we have the possibility to actually change the host address so that, for example, only our local host or other hosts can access our Docker binding, a port binding. So um, in our case, any is uh, fine. And now we will launch the container with finish. And you can see the output over here. And it will, as you can see, the Docker container started without any uh, error messages. And our next step is to connect to our um, Nginx uh, container. As you can see right over here, the uh, container we created, the web test container, um, has a green arrow on it so that you can actually see that the container is up and running. So we will start our web server and we connect to our local host on port 8080. And you can see we got the Nginx server. And if we go back to our NetBeans environment, you can actually see the output of our loaded page. So our next step is to stop our web uh, server. So we just say stop. And as you can see, our web server is no longer running. So our next example will be to create a very simple Java application that creates a Docker container and is executed by our, our Docker host. So we go to the project page. Uh, we say we want to create a Java application. Um, we call it uh, Docker Donnerstag or Dodo for short uh, demo. And we leave everything as the default settings. 
we create the project and we just use uh, the standard out in this case say hello docker donor stack and uh, that's all we need to do we execute the program and as you can see in the output it says hello docker donor stack so what we will do now is we will hit the uh, uh, clean and build button and it creates our jar file under the destination folder so we can actually use our distribution folder so we can actually use the jar the next step is to create the docker file so we go to the file section and say we want to create a new file new file and there's no docker uh, file uh, pre-selected so we go to the filter and say docker and what you can see is there's a docker file type we will select this we just leave it as docker file so we have the default name for a docker build file and hit the finish button and what you can see directly is there is code completion or syntax highlighting, highlighting with the docker file by netbeans and you get even code completion for example if i hit from you can see that is also um, suggesting me the full command from and has the full description of the command and all options that i can use what we'll do now is to change the docker file so that we can use it for our uh, docker demo project first off i need to change the from file because it only contains the alpine very tiny linux image which doesn't contain any java so we will change this to an alpine version that actually contains java which i found on the docker hub and after we did this uh, we need to actually be able to execute the jar file so what i will do is i will say copy uh, jar to docker file and what we will do is we use the copy command and we use uh, the jar that's created in the um, destination or distribution directory we copy the name of the jar uh, we want to just copy it into the root folder of our docker image after we copied the uh, jar itself we need to change the command that is executed we need to change it to java and we need to add the our jar option and we need to add the jar file name as well and now we have a working docker file that we can actually build and run our container afterwards hit the uh, build command and we use the local docker instance to build our docker uh, image and it asks us for the repository and i will use the repository that is um my docker hub repository and we will call it dodo uh, java for example or dodo demo Let's keep it very simple uh, if you don't uh, specify any tags uh, it will just use the latest tag so we hit next um the default is to use the docker file that is named docker file uh, which matches our case and we use uh no cache and we always want to pull the latest image just to show uh, in this demo that actually the images are pulled from the docker hub so we hit the finish button and you can see it's pulling the docker alpine uh, image with java in it and also copying the jar into our docker image and we have successfully built our container so we go to our service tab where we can actually see our newly created docker image and we can now say we want to run it uh, we say our name is um, docker live demo for it we attach a pseudo uh, command uh, interface so that we can actually see the output I'll say next we don't have any uh, ports exposed and we hit the finish button and it will execute our docker container and you can see our output it's hello docker donnerstag so as you can see you can use netbeans to create your docker images out of your java project directly 
And that's it for this week's episode of Docker Donnerstag. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to submit your own ideas for a Docker Donnerstag episode, hit us up on Twitter or leave a comment down below. See you next time.